Happy Valentine's Day to you and yours out there. Um, look at this. We are looking at the Victory Bell. The Victory Bell. And it was a gift from, uh, I suppose, a fraternity. Um, uh, I don't know if that's a fraternity or a sorority. Yes. No, it's a fraternity. Um, it was a gift uh, to the university here in 1955. And it's, it's the Victory Bell. And uh, I imagine um, it, it was rung after uh, victories um, by the university teams uh, when they defeated the opponent now, how many bells have we seen across this country? <laughs> We've seen bells in Golden, Colorado that would signal fire and uh, was placed at the town hall in Golden, Colorado. We saw a number of those fire bells in Connecticut. Um, also, out of Hartford, the fire bell that would ring throughout the town to alert the neighbors that someone was in harm's way and uh, needed to pick up their buckets and head to the fire department because they had to help fight the fire for everyone in town. We also saw the bell at the, uh, we're at, uh, Oh, Stone Mountain, Georgia. Stone Mountain, Georgia. We saw the the Let Freedom Ring Bell that was placed there by the new black community that had moved into Stone Mountain and occupied the city. Of course, long after the Ku Klux Klan, which was founded actually in Stone Mountain, had died and moved out and moved on. A lot of bells, a number of bells on college campuses, of course. New Mexico State University, Morehouse University, all these bells, usually in the center of uh, campus to uh, the rallying point, if you will, um, to celebrate victory against some opponent and we are here on valentine's day on the campus of kent state this is the kent state university campus and this is the commons you have the victory bell you have behind it taylor hall and over that ridge there, you have, um, well, you have Prentice Hall and then a parking lot. This was a site on May 4th where civil war broke out and came to the United States. Um, it had been festering for some time, old and young rich and poor, black and white divisions all throughout the country. And it was here that Americans, uh, National Guard, over yonder there, um, in front of a burned out ROT seal, ROTC building that the students had burned the night before. It is there that the Ohio National Guard confronted on the other end the Kent State University students. And it seems fitting that um, after all these years, um, uh, we probably have more divisions today than <laughs> back then. 
I mean, everything is division now. Sad to say on this St. Valentine's Day. It's not only black and white. It's not a black and white issue anymore. It's not a rich, poor issue anymore. It's not a college, no college division anymore. I mean, we're, we're into uh, subdivisions of the divisions. You know, we are into transgenders versus gays. We are into lesbians versus straights. We are into gays versus straights. And all these divisions on this Valentine's Day. You know, on the campus of Kent State, I mean, it's a whole nother civil war we're fighting here. You know, um, and it's just gotten worse. Trump, anti-Trump, you know. Um, how many divisions can you name and how many how many how many different you know sides are there you know ah uh, Kent State this was victory bell and you rang it when your side won you know and of course the the horror of that day here on the commons in Kent State, as young students faced young soldiers commanded by older commanders and generals, fired upon them. And no one won. <laughs> no one won. There was no victory that day. I don't know. Hope you have a great Valentine's Day. And I hope you have an enjoyable evening and get what you want in the battle of the sexes. So you can ring a bell for your side.